Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tom Play's Factorio for Absolute Beginners. We just um, <laughs> finally made a start on the perimeter wall, which I'm thinking I might just extend to here. I'm trying to leave space for any additional defences we want to put in later. Two, three, four, five, six. So there's basically room for three more turrets at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. That works out well. Probably put it right at the edge there. And then just put an inserter along each way. And I'll actually do want to think again about this bit because we're probably going to run a whole bunch of them down this channel. I was thinking of having this as a kind of entrance just because I've never seen one of these before. So even though you can do gates and things, I just think it'd be kind of nice to make use of it. So yeah, might leave that one for later. But I can fill the wall in now. Interesting. There's a bit of cliff there as well. Brilliant. Right, so I'm going to leave that going. So at least we've got a little bit of protection. And uh, checking everything else. We've finished researching the military science pack, so I want to start making those. Also, like to have two assembly machines making the green and red vials. This is the black vial. This is a military science pack. And of course we need to check on everything else. Make sure everything is staying up to date. And still functioning. Right, yeah, so that doesn't look bad. It's entirely full up. Finally getting to the point where we're not scrabbling for things. Okay, brilliant. Right, so let's pick something else to research while we're at it. So something that doesn't need the military pack. So one of the obvious ones is things like physical projectile damage. These can take a while to make, but they just make things better. Red and red. Right, so we've already got two lots of red ones, but we're only making one green one. is not ideal so I'm gonna to try to I'm sort of arguing with myself as to whether it's good to have them coming from the same feed I suppose in theory it is if we can pool our creation of these things Oh, I see, we're not getting enough gears. Yeah, they're continually making them, they're just heavily needed. Yeah, if we can sort of put all this into one pool, this should be fine. So, okay, so you're going to do green vials. And I guess literally just join the same stream. is fine. What we might need to do is ramp up our manufacture of things but at the moment it would appear that gear wheels are the only real problem. 
And I think that's an iron production problem again. So the only way around that is to ramp up our production of iron, which we can do, but I would rather do that by seeking out new ones. Okay, right, I think we finally moved back to the second level of copper here. We don't actually have any copper plates, so I'll just grab some in case we need them for anything. Okay, so the House of Poles. Let's grab you. Do I need any more of you? Well, it wouldn't hurt to have you. What am I doing? Right, so the military science pack. Piercing rounds, grenades and walls. Okay, fantastic. So that's a lot of things that are mostly at the moment made in the north. The grenades are down here. bit of a question as to how best to make these. What we definitely want is something new making armor piercing rounds. So and the hold up for that is steel inevitably. In fact we're finally actually backing up slightly. So that's the other thing we do want to do is replace all of our stone furnaces with steel furnaces. So if this is actually backing up, it would make sense to start here. And definitely start with iron. that one's gone so basically as these go I don't want to deplete this any further so I'm gonna move them straight up to the mine up here totally happy to deplete this mine completely if needed with that. I suppose what I could do is take it around. That makes sense. Okay, let's build an extra one because we still don't have enough iron. And we're going to need some more power. Great. So that should help because it means that any iron produced up there runs the full gamut of our furnaces. Whereas the iron from the other mine didn't touch these furnaces at all. So hopefully that should improve matters a bit. Oh, see, right, these are only backed up because that's actually slightly out of reach. Fair enough. 
Well, you can have a surplus. That is fine. Okay. Walls, grenades, and armor piercing rounds. tricky bit is always going to be the steel. So yeah, it's literally just steel production that's holding us back, isn't it? In terms of these, it's not even so much the production. Never I would not mind having another production. this stream to make more steel. Is there any point though? It just makes just as much sense to have steel coming up here. So really, yeah, it's just iron production again. Right, fine. In that case, I'm going to, first of all, sort out this. off some of our um, piercing round production. So if we try to get that over here, just make an assembling machine to make military vials. we're doing we definitely need more underground things and more splitters which is fine just grab some more transport belts as well thinking how best to do this. Right, so we need our... Oh, we're piercing rounds first, so that's fine. You can go in there. I'll just make a little conveyor belt to carry you away, in theory. Grenades are going to be a bit of a nuisance, but I'm sure we can manage. Do we really want to take him through the middle? I'm just wondering if I might want to do more steel production up here, possibly. So maybe don't go through there. Could try coming down through this bit but then we're going right through all of the copper kind of feels like we're getting a bit cramped already which is undoubtedly my fault I 
Let's let me just send you on the ground. ones either though do we? So let's see. Trying to get to there. Could in theory go that way. So this is where the drawback comes in of my being um, horribly messy and disorganised, which is why with a bit of thought you can probably do better. Still. I'm missing oh, name plates. Still, that will work. Okay, and then that just leaves with walls. So, we've got walls being made up here. So I'm just going to need to bring them around, effectively. Why do something sensibly when you can do it in a ridiculous way? How are we doing for steel furnaces? Not too bad. Slowly getting there. So at some point we are going to be replacing these with some larger electric furnaces. So we will have to reconfigure things a bit then. Maybe make them a bit more compact. Hmm. Oh, I see. Fair enough. The uh, these aren't functioning because basically we're full up on copper. We are producing more copper than we can use. Right. And we're out of transport belts again. the excess. So yeah, all very bitter this episode. I'm just um, ca 
kind of thinking as I go. I should do it. Right. Colvin produce again. I'm not worried about that one, I don't think. We really need it to be doing anything at the moment. And yeah, we've got transport belts again, so hopefully we can just run this down. So, a bit convoluted, probably not as tremendously well planned as it could have been, but it worked. And I'm not too worried. So I'm going to do the same as before, I'm going to have a box for these to come into. and we're going to have to modify the filter inserters to accept black vials which is fine great so that should hopefully once it starts oh do need to actually activate at the other end well that should hopefully start building us up some of the black vials so when we research something military, we will have them available. Let's put one of the old star poles in that one. have any poles here I think I'm going to need to encourage them so you can have the spares oh the copy are out of that's weird oh interesting this isn't functioning okay Alright, that's fine. Let me remove you and you. And what I'm going to do instead is put things onto there, put a splitter in here. Again, a bit convoluted. I think it'll work. There we go. Right. Let's find them. Clearly I need to check that things are working before going off and assuming they're fine. Okay. So where else does this leave us? I had picked up some of these. So I was thinking about making the odd additional gun turret. So I might stick one here. Just in case. 
And yeah, we could do one down here as well. I'm not sure if I actually just removed one because it was in the way. And didn't restore it, I have a feeling I did. But yeah, let's just be aware that we could get attacked from down there. Okay, brilliant. So from there, I'm actually thinking I might go back to the perimeter wall, because I would like to get the defence finished. And reasonably halfway with how things are going down there. So, thinking let's try and work this out. definitely gonna have to do something to improve my movement speed as well so what we want to do on this perimeter wall is I was thinking we would run gun turrets down here all right yeah that's fine I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Not going to be able to have them quite in sync. So in order to supply these, you're going to have to go. I'm going to have to have a transport belt that goes along here. And also it's going to have to dip in there. I'm going to want a fast inserter for this one, but a standard slow inserter should be fine for all of the others. And obviously we're going to want power poles. Will that be enough to reach? It will. Yeah, because we don't need to power the gun turrets, we just need to power the inserters, don't we? I need to get more stuff, but in the meantime, let's at least get that one done. And that one. And then I need to resupply. So while we're up here, it might be worth checking on the mine. So a lot of these mines are still not ideally placed in terms of resources so they might run out a bit faster than they would normally do nope still going fine that's good Should probably check the power levels periodically as well Uh, yeah, we're fine. Producing plenty, I think. And we're not using up all of these furnaces yet, which is good. Coal looks good. Both of these coffers have run out, though. This is kind of what I meant by them being a bit poorly placed when it comes to resources. Entirely my fault, just because I want to be neat. some better power poles. So we're quite backed up on copper anyway. Doesn't matter if we're held up for a bit. Let me give you a load of gear wheels though. Because I suspect you're not producing transport belts fast enough. And actually while I'm at it let me give you the rest of my gear wheels. this along a bit. It's a 
should be a bit better now, but at some point I do want to be finding another copper mine. But we're not using nearly as much copper, so I'm not as worried. Okay, so we've got power poles, we've got transport belts, that is basically what I wanted for the perimeter. Which is good. <laughs> Maybe I should look into building vehicles so I can get around a bit faster, or at least um, a better suit of armour that I might be able to fit some kind of power exoskeleton to. Not to worry, one of the things I like about this game is not hurrying. So I'm not going to worry too much about the speed. Alright, so I might give myself a fair bit of leeway there in terms of what we want to put here. I might want to put a gate at some point. But for now, I'm essentially assuming that no native is going to make it down here alive. <laughs> Later on, that assumption may turn out to be horribly flawed, but I kind of hope that at the moment, at least, they won't be strong enough. Again, I'm just leaving a bit of leeway there just in case I want to do anything with it later. Right, I probably actually want to fill this in this way. And also we're going to want a fast inserter. The basic reason I'm doing fast inserters for some of these is that when they're on a corner, you find the slow ones sometimes struggle to pick them up as they're going past. So it's just generally a better idea to use the fast ones, just on the corners. However, we are now struggling with having insufficient ammunition. So, let's see if we can get it to make a nice big block of ammo to send down the line. It's literally just steel, isn't it, that this is lacking. So, hopefully that'll sort that out. How are we doing here? Well, it looks like we've got everything, but for some reason this isn't working. That's because I haven't put an inserter there. Okay. Well, at least it allows us to confirm in real time that the black vials are now being made. No harm done. Obviously it will take a while to make, but there are, I mean at the moment we have very few things which need them, just these two. That will change, but they're still never going to be needed for absolutely everything. So, I will probably make do with just this one producer. Whereas a lot of the others will try and have two producing each type of vial. Okay, 
brilliant so is there anything else that we should be making at this point we don't have anything particularly fancy when it comes to electronics we've already got the heavy armor I believe I wasn't really gonna bother with the shotguns so no nothing particular So possibly I should just be focused on trying to make more iron. So let's just make another iron mine. Because we're still not filling these furnaces up. It's one of those things, there's um, like uh, if I was playing this on my own I might just leave it for a bit. Because I'm never in a hurry. But as things currently stand... Oh, that was clever, Tom. Cool, without any transport belts. Not to worry, we'll just make some. But generally speaking, there's always something you can be doing. If nothing else, we could be exploring. Honestly, with the wall there, we might be able to tentatively make a radar. Which would be a much safer way to explore. Oh, it's run out of resources. That's why it's not doing anything. Okay. Right, that's fine then. Let's... Um put you down somewhere else but let's put down the chest first and let's drop all of this coal I'll pick some of the coal up stick it in you Got the rest of the coal because I don't think I need it at the moment. Okay, so this chest here I might start using for stuff we don't need. So the old electric poles, the wood, the old stone furnaces, I don't think we actually need anymore. I'm gonna dump the spare iron in these furnaces. Some mine up. And yeah, I think we're good. So if we just restock on everything we can find. Transport belts, probably got enough inserters, might need power poles. Still not too many of those going around. Yeah, I think we're fine. Head back up to the perimeter with the stuff we now have. And I will probably finish there, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, mostly just uh, pottering around this episode. They're gradually working on the perimeter wall. I'm hoping that ammunition will have reached them now. No, nope, apparently not. I suppose it does have an extremely long way to go. Let's just find out where it's got to. There's a bit coming up here. Yeah, I suppose it's being made in bits. It'll be fine. It'll get here. I just don't want to extend the wall too far. If um, if our gun turrets aren't going to have ammunition in them, I suppose there's no reason why we couldn't 
put some in manually because I do have some spare. But hey, under the circumstances, maybe I'll just look around a bit and get a little bit of an idea of the lay of the land. Try and work out how far we actually want to extend this wall to. I think once the um, once we've researched the projectile damage, might look at researching something that will actually change our setup a little. Have we got a burgeoning base down here? Sort of. It might be something I want to clear out, but it depends how big it is. Yeah. Yeah, I might leave that until we're actually taking the mine. It does mean it'll have time to get bigger. But it's not too bad. On the whole. Right, so they're accumulating, which is good. Presumably we've got them here as well. We have. Excellent. It's fine. It's just a matter of time. So, what would we actually want? I mean, there is radar, which is where the attacks are going to hot up a bit. There's automation 2, where we can start doing fluids, which we haven't needed yet. Landfill, probably don't have a lot of use for in this scenario. Circuit networks are interesting. We can do all sorts of interesting things with those. Engines would actually allow us to move towards making vehicles, which might be good for exploration, or just for getting around. Save some time. You do have to be careful driving them though. Gates, yeah, are kind of definitely handy, but not essential. Stronger explosives, no problem there. I do like the Defender bot. Solar energy is important. Although we haven't really been struggling for energy much. Tool belt and logistics two. Which will probably allow us to improve in general. Is there anything we should be looking to get? I mean modular armor would certainly be nice. You see when you click on something you'd like, there's this whole tree. And it looks like we need engines and automation too. So I'm guessing they will unlock a bunch of things. See again, engines and automation too. So we probably ought to look into those. Next. But other than that, could explore a bit. Could increase the perimeter wall. I will have to have a think about that and get back to it next time. So yeah, sorry there's a little bit pottering around, but uh, haven't been attacked yet, which is nice. Perimeter wall extended a little, at least. Looks like I've discovered a new source of coal but still haven't discovered any more copper mines so I might want to explore in this direction next not entirely sure how far we'll extend in this direction I'd really like to get the whole circular thing going around so might even close it off there at some point we will be looking into vehicles especially trains Trains I absolutely love in this game. And that will allow us to open mines in more distant locations. And stop depleting our local stores. But I'm not as worried about copper and coal, especially not coal. But yeah, so it might be exploration next time. We've got our grenades, we've got our arm piercing rounds. We're about to get more projectile damage from them. So, possibly a bit safer than it was. But we'll see. I mean, for now it's ticking along reasonably nicely. You can see how much we're having to ramp up production. 
as the demands of the factory get bigger and bigger. We are actually at the point where another assembly machine might be useful, but then probably that's only because I manually put steel in. I doubt this is backing up, I suspect it will get used up. So it's probably still going to be more a question of producing more steel. But we'll see. It's ticking along nicely for now. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> it's just how long we have to wait before the natives start getting really aggressive. Whether I can finish the wall before then. In any case, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.